This is why I end up having these two. One, the winner of this on the stream twice in a row. <laughs> Alright, well, I have to finish uploading. Yeah. So. Alright, so this is kind of a. I'm surprised that Monkey BenQ chose to allow this stage to be used against uh, Carol, considering how annoying it can be to uh, approach Carol when they're utilizing the platforms properly. But it looks like the big thing for them is that they're using the. Uh, they're basically just waiting for uh, for 808 to get back on the stage so that they can try to force some kind of 50 50 or just force some kind of situation. Wow, that dolphin slash! Okay, I did not know that she could just like. that she had enough time to dip out of that. Out of dip out there like that. Alright, looking for a spike. I'm not getting it though. I'm getting up air twice as punishment for messing up. Ooh, and a really, really good down air from 808 to take the first stock. Alright, good use of the uh, of the super armor on the belt. You gotta be careful though, if you're playing K-Roll, you're really taking advantage of that because it's very easy to, uh, to overuse it and then end up losing a stock because it is equivalent to a shield break. Oh my gosh! I mean, that's K-Roll, yeah. He gets you off stage and you're like, yo, I gotta play this 50-50 now, and did you use your second jump? Did you use your second jump. And that is yet another blow up. That was a fast game right there. Uh Monkey Bank you got kinda blown the fuck up. I, I got to sorry for cursing. None of that. Yeah, I mean you can just rewatch the watch the replays that I'm presuming you did because of the yeah. sounds. And that's basically the match. Alright, let's see this. What happened here? Oh, it was a three stock. Wow, we. Yeah. It oh, was, battle uh, beat. Okay. It was really close uh, for all of like a minute until it wasn't at all close. How's he gonna die here? What? Is Ooh. Yeah. Okay. That happens twice. All right, I see what you're talking about when you mentioned that his uh, tummy was. Oh my god. Yeah, no, Tommy was really cracked, but Monkey Banky never got to get How long does it right. take to heal it? Uh, it, it? I think it takes about as long as like shield as a shield does, but no, a little bit longer than a shield, yeah, actually. No, shield heals really quickly. Ready? It also depends like how often you use it, but no, that was that was a blowout. Which is just as well, I guess, because Winter can stay on. Because Zane is uh, done with their first set. Alright, so uh, Monkey BenQ is going to be counterpicking the PS2. Uh, yeah, I think he just wants the extra space. Um, I, I think, you know, opting to go to Battlefield once is just like, yeah, that's a, it's a good Marcina stage. So he doesn't want to, like, he's just like, yeah, I, I should be comfortable there. But clearly got opened up. So uh, let's see what kind of adjustments. He wants an extra, extra space here. Yeah, no, that plot, the fact that the platform is covering so much of the stage is a really big benefit to Marcina against K. Rool because K. Rool just like has so many options that if you're not able to approach from above, makes life so difficult. Yeah. Uh, I like the idea that Monkey Banky already showed that he has like an anti uh, crown, not not crown toss, or just like when he went, when he was falling down with the, the gun, suck, and like he just anti aired him with uh, the up B, but wasn't at high percent where it would uh, be safe on hit. Now, yeah, definitely a lot more even now. Uh, K. Rool is stupid heavy, though, so he has to be very careful. Uh, Monkey Ben Q, not only higher in percent, but just closer to death overall. Uh oh, uh oh, yeah. All right, really great trap by 808. Uh, you never want to get too like stressed out by this character like that. I think he tried to cross him up with it, but the big build made it more difficult. Okay, that's a re-grab, but we're not going to punish that. It's difficult too anyway because of the, the hitbox that's above him. Oh, sick. This match, you decided to, to, to wipe out my DQ timers for some reason. Poggers. Alright. Yeah, pretty poggers. I'm kind of mad, actually. All 
right, Monkey BenQ uh, really hanging on to this edge guard right now. This is really good. He's not letting it away play at all. That's like the one thing that Martina's almost lost stage control, but uh, because 808 whiffed as well, uh, kind of got it right back. Except now. Uh oh. Good use of the blunderbuss. He's got some pretty good aerial mobility while having the blunderbuss yeah. open. That's he really something. Does. Ooh. Um, if he doesn't have the, uh, if, if he can't shoot the cannonball because it's already out, he'll actually be able to move very far. Because that's the main thing that keeps him from moving horizontally. Mm -hmm. Which is why a lot of times you see 808 just throw it out so he can do it again, but from like a higher height. Yeah. Okay. Now we have 808 with the edge guard situation. Ah, uh, see, I don't like the. Okay, you know what? It, it worked out. I was going to say, Monkey Ben Q trying to reverse edge guard. Uh, like, he could have gained stage control, but then got it anyway. But then died, so, you know. Uh, yeah, 808 going really strong right now. He like really the second wants time that I've seen. He really just wants to be in a rule. position to try and punish the up B with uh, Dolphin Slash, but he's just not getting it. Yeah. Only because Monkey Bank, no. you just want to play like aggressive off stage. Press. Do a movement option to like bait your opponent in that situation. Like you can get like, like duck, do a short hop, run away, and dash back. Just don't commit to something, and like you can, you know, try and force them to move, and then you can use the fact that even if they don't move, that they ended up waiting long enough because they were waiting for you to commit to something, and then they can't react to it, and then you hit them with your, uh, you hit them while they're still hanging on the ledge. Yeah, Mastro brings up a good point that Lucina can in fact just counter the uh, the up B. Oh uh, yeah, but it is a. Thank not really doing that. Yeah, no, he isn't. Maybe he'll do it now. Maybe he has the stream on. Uh, do you hear he us, Monkey Ben Q? Do you hear us? Use counter on the up B. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Oh my goodness. Or is that it too late? Kill? Is it too late? Oh! No. <laughs> Cross stage. Oh man, this is so spooky. Oh, I think he's, he's going to put him in the it's ground. Over. It's. Boom! It's, it's done, so. There's no, at that percentage, there's no way to mash up. Bro, look at him point. He's like, look here, mister. Who's he pointing at? He's like, you go out there and get me my, you get me your manager. I don't know if uh, K. Rule is a Karen. I just think he's just trying lag. to show people what's what. Say right, that Devin, again? You want to check for input lag? Uh, I mean... Oh, I can only check through the replays. I mean, do you want to check with them? But do you want to check? Oh, I mean, my in the replays the ping isn't super high, but if like you, if, if they want, we can. Monkey Ben you. If anything, guys. the Ben, the, the ping for you was was spiking a lot. From what I can tell, like you're going above thirty consistently, while uh, eight oh eight is staying at about twenty. Well, where are their relative locations? Because remember, it's like me relative to them. That ping isn't Bro. like, yeah. Like if I'm one's not. near me, then it's like not fair. I'm pretty sure Monkey Bank is from Jersey, but I don't know where Airway's from. Uh, we can we we can. Uh, we can oh, Monkey Bank is in in Philly. Yeah, so I'm gonna have a higher ping with him no matter what. I mean, monkey. <laughs> the man's trying to get him DQ'd in it under any circumstance possible. Okay, so uh, I guess we're just moving on. We're done. All right, peace.